All right, we are recording. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, we've had a couple talks. This is our third. And you talk a lot about um, teacherly authority. And that's something that I have, you know, experienced myself. You know, I, I, I ran the Art Institute of Los Angeles for 12 plus years in charge of 300 students getting bachelors of science in game art and design, game programming. I felt teacherly authority. You know, you, you feel it when you have it. It's like, oh, and it's different from a boss. It's different from a boss. It's 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 like this thing where you are helping these people because you really want to see them blossom and they're trusting you. That's my thing about teacherly authority. But getting into what planetary teacherly authority, I think that's going to be a fun topic with this tutoring system we're talking about. But I want to know what's your definition of planetary or of, of of just teacherly authority? Like what is your succinct definition of that? Right, the succinct definition is that it's a social relationship uh, in which let's call it like organic teaching and learning can occur. Uh, and you remember when we first spoke, I talked about Michael, Tal Michael Tomasello's work, his work and the, the joint attentional situation. Right. Basic and human, me and you and this thing. And this, and right. And this thing. If you're older than me, it's very likely, I'm talking about like a tribe or something, it's very likely that you know more about this than me. Right. Uh, and so it's a deep right. anthropologically deep-seated thing here, which you, is... You, you know, when you said that, you brought up the, 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 the all the hands on the elephant. It's like, you know, oh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a snake. I'm going to hold the trunk. I think it's, you know, this, and someone touched this. And I think somebody with teacherly authority, they probably touched a lot of those things and have a much better idea of the shape and, and, and coming yeah. in. You know. Yeah. So I talk about capacity or capability asymmetry. Like, so if we're both trying to do something like tie a shoe. Right. And you know how to tie a shoe and I don't. Right. And then we're in this, and I want to tie a shoe <laughs> and, and you're around and you want to teach me. Right. Then there's a, just a, a spontaneous situation where teacherly authority arises. Now there's yeah. also, let's say student responsibility. So there's a two way street, but the teacher holds more responsibility and capacity and power, usually power by definition. Now what's interesting is that in Most school, definitely. in schools, uh, bureaucratic power is used to sometimes supplant actual capacity asymmetry. So we're often used to what's called illegitimate teacherly authority, where you're in a situation where bureaucratically this person is your teacher, but in terms of actual capacities, it's not clear that they're a dick. <laughs> this is the person <laughs> they're a dick or they don't know what they're talking about, right? That either that they're well, they're maybe smarter than you, but they're not well motivated. So oh, they're yeah. bad faith communicators right. or they're teaching stuff that is wrong right or manipulative right uh, so there's many forms of illegitimate teacherly authority um but legitimate teacherly authority is when you have that both parties recognize the capacity asymmetry we both know that it's a capacity asymmetry wow and, and we both are looking at this thing together and we i'm wanting to learn and you're wanting to teach Right. Um, and, and, and there's a great feedback. And, and, and the, I think the true teacherly authority, when somebody is a true teacher, they want to teach, but they also want to learn back from the student. I think there's, there's a, yeah. a, 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 a wonderful symmetry there. Um, exactly yeah, I mean, when you walk into a room and somebody has 30 years experience teaching something, and I think, you know, both have open hearts that they want to give you the best teaching and, and you want to learn, it's a magical thing. I mean, when I had students that walk into class and you could see they're just hungry for it. They're just some way you're, you're going to do everything to teach them. And when you teach them, they produce novel information that's going to then inform you. Correct. That's going to then make you a better teacher for the next person. It's, exactly. it's an amazing it's a, feedback loop. Yeah. Another key feature of legitimate teacherly authority is that and this gets complicated for AI and we'll get to it, is that a legitimate teacher seeks to obsolete the asymmetry of capacity. Right. So this is like how you know, like advertising, propaganda, cult leaders, things like that. There's no intention for They want to be in control. 
there's yeah, there's no intention to ever bridge the epistemic right. asymmetry. Like they want there to be stuff right. that they know that you will right. never know. Right? You want to uh, teach yourself out of a job. Exactly. And you right. want your student to be better than you. You want your student right. to know more than you to be able to teach better than you. Right. To, so, so yeah. that that is the most perfect, 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 perfect segue into this next bit and this right. next bit because. Right. Uh, and just to give you a little bit of framework, so, you know, a, a story going into the planetary tutoring system and planetary teacherly authority. So for me, I was teaching class and I was the oracle of knowledge. I was the game, game art uh, design teacher. I could go in there and be like, okay, I know everything. Come at me, bro. And, and, and then, there, you know, this was back in the mid 2000s. And then a student came in with something that was so good. And I swear, I was like, wow, that's so good. I didn't teach you that. And it was just like, <laughs> how did you do this without me? You know? And uh, yeah. and then he was like, oh, I saw a video on YouTube. Right. YouTube had just started. And they had yep. just had enough resolution in their videos that they could start doing uh, tutorials in this 3D program I was showing at the time. And at that moment, I realized, okay, I'm not the oracle of knowledge here i'm not you know youtube is going to do a much better job than me and and for the next year i and from that year till the end of teaching i changed my whole teaching style to being like a a, a dj and a re remix i was like hey you want to watch this youtube video you want to watch this one you want to watch this one and so i had this experience of my uh my ability as a teacher for the computer and collective intelligence to completely supplant it and so now looking forward, I see this next level of AI education completely having that experience that I had. And yeah. and 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 how do we make it through that narrow gap? So so let's 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 get into it and I'll share my screen. Uh and we'll share. So what is planetary teacher authority? Well, let's get into the basic framework for um what the planetary tutoring system is going to be um it's it's going to be this uh, uh called the reality web of these ais that are domain specific um that uh represent plants animals people's objects concepts i wholeheartedly i do not think it's going to be these large language models like the, the chat gpts um i see as you see there's going to be a big problem of a big floating head one day and i think it's much better if we store information in these smaller uh, containers and buckets. And so, you know, they can sound pretty abstract, but how it works is, you know, it will use computer vision to identify the object. Um, and once we identify the object, we'll pull up the collective intelligence for that object. And you'll just be able to chat with it, you know, uh, on, a, on a phone or, you know, once the augmented reality glasses, you'll just be able to directly chat with it, which I have some really cool videos to show you on this and 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 what it looks like you know for these two things for right now for right now it's this idea just think of it as like uh, the wikipedia page for a gorilla or a sunflower are very you know they're they're finite they're these finite right. things <laughs> there's only so much data on there consequently people internationally have problems with the wikipedia they're like oh you know they're not really right giving us the whole information and stuff like that. I've heard yeah, that, yeah, I'm right? A, actually, but, I think I, I, I'm not a big fan of Wikipedia. Actually. There you go. There you go. What, so why is your, what, why, why are you a big fan of them? I'm just curious. Uh, I mean, it's a long, it's a very long conversation there. Okay, we'll time out now and you come back yeah, to it. Yeah, exactly. We'll stay on track. It's, it's related to this, that's a base, more basic question of like, can decentralization of knowledge production and assurance of quality control on knowledge go together? Right. right. The idea of expertise is no. The idea of expertise is that no. If you become an expert to produce the highest quality of knowledge, it's precisely that not everyone can do that, which means it's not decentralized. It's not. Uh, hmm. So this that's a question. So this is one of the issues with Wikipedia. But there's other there's other issues. Interesting. I I, I that I think that's a good topic for our next one because I do see a window into decentralization i do see a window if there is but you can have qualified decentralization or you oh that's a great way to define it qualified decentralization qualified decentralization and this comes to teacherly authority like the problem with radical decentralization and de hierarchical like squashing the hierarchy uh is that you potentially squash teacherly authority because again teacherly authority is 
for lack of a better phrase, hierarchical. It's, a, it's an epistemic asymmetry. It's a capacity differential where we both know you have more and that's a good thing. Right. <laughs> uh, and so that's, I think, that's key to, to, the, to this. To the and that, that, that is, and I think that qualified decentralization is going to, Prob that sounds that sounds good to me. I like that. I like that. That okay. Let's 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 keep going with this because I want to hit land my plane so we can really talk about what teacherly authority means. So, um, getting back to the Wikipedia thing, Wikipedia um, has these finite pages. And they only take certain qualified data, but I do think what these collective intelligences for all these domain specific objects will be comprised of, they'll be comprised of uh, two fundamental key components. Uh, is perception data, like what's my perception of the flower, like putting my hand on the, uh, the, the, the elephant, like what does it smell, what do I do with it, all that stuff, and, 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 and the uses I found for it, uh, and then uh, sensor data. Sensor data is going to be huge. And so when you get into what these AIs are really going to become, they're going to become an aggregate for all the perceptions of people in the world, sensors, and and accumulated knowledge going into these 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 super brains uh, and training them and then being able to output. So when you talk to this flower, it's going to be the, the the sum total of our intelligence about that flower. And at that point, I feel we're getting into um, the realm of teacherly authority, especially when we start throwing sensor data into it. You know, mm -hmm. when we start throwing sensor data into it to it on those localized objects. So when you're dealing with all the information for, uh, that we've collected, as well as real-time sensor data, those things to me, I'm not gonna go to some, some um, you know, forest guide. You know, I'm in the forest. Does that forest guide have teacherly authority to tell me about this, this, this rare species of flower? Or does this, you know, is this, a planetary teacherly authority you know does this i mean this is a very <laughs> yeah i mean it's it's complex right so let me so complex let me lay a few things down so you mentioned the youtube video right now i would argue that the dude who made the youtube video is the seat of teacherly authority there not youtube or the video right. it's still located in a person and we've seen this before with books so like i taught uh, you know, philosophy and developmental psychology. And I occasionally have students come in and be like, damn, I, who taught you to say that? Like, that was a really fancy <laughs> talk. And it's because they, they read a bunch of books and they right. accepted the teacherly authority of the author, but it's still mediated teacherly authority where the locus of teacherly authority, which is to say the legitimacy, which is usually about trust and love, that that, that is in a person. And so in this situation, you're dealing with a very complex form of mediated teacherly authority. Um, right. So it's a qualified decentralized teacherly authority where you can't locate it in a single individual like, hey, I'm the dude making the writing the book or making the YouTube video. Right. It's like a it's like a generalized. It, it, it's generalized. And, you know, if you really want to dig into it, you might be able to find out who this guy is that, yes. that, I mean, I think those AIs will, the black boxes will go away. You'll be able to drill down and find out where that exactly yeah, and that that is from. Key. That is key. Cause remember the idea here is that we need to be able to be obsoleting the role of the teacher, which means that in this case, you would come to understand the flower in such a way that you could contribute to other people's understanding of the flower in a more advanced way than any other person has ever been able to do. Right. So that would be maximal, Right, um, And so it's very important that the AI is not, as you're saying, a big floating head where we right. can confuse the teacherly authority uh, and imagine it's we have unmediated contact with a teacher, namely the AI, uh, as opposed to having mediated contact with a thousand or a million humans who've all made judgments about and, and thought carefully about it. Um, the one risk here is that it is believed that the designers of it are the teachers. I think there's a risk, there's that risk. So even if we defray the centralization of like, hey, I'm the giant planet 
intelligence so document. I, um, so I, I so actually here I can show two two very key things here where I, I do feel like this is an important fact. So what this is really at the end of the day is just ones and zeros and data. Here's a tree. Right. It's, my, it's just a tree. So we've got all this data, right? All these data for these AIs, we've 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 um we we embody it and a prompt's gonna get output. A prompt's gonna get output from it and 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 everything. And and I don't think there's any designer that we can say uh the the, the designer of how that prompt gets output, like let's ask this tree um what its lifespan is, right? What its lifespan is. You know, that's something it could probably an answer. Um, it has that data in there. When that prompt gets output, it's going to pass through our own translation layer. And so we'll, we're going to have these personal AIs <clears throat> that take in the data, but then it goes through a whole filtering mechanism so that we can understand that we're getting out the information we we, we want. So I and think you could argue end, that when you let me just land it, I think what's we are in fact going to be our own designers. Everybody's going to be their designer uh, on it because we're the ones with this. It hits our our personal AI layer. Does that make sense? It does. So you control. I see. That's interesting because there's two ways that the teacherly authority works. One is just the asymmetry of power or knowledge, but then there's this thing called pedagogical content knowledge. So a phrase from curriculum studies and stuff. Some of the smartest people are terrible teachers. So you can like be in their presence, right? You can be in their presence and know there's an epistemic asymmetry and want to learn and not right. learn. But and they don't know how to break. Learn. Like I, I just know what I know, man. <laughs> exactly. So, so there are people who are natural teachers, and when we say that, it's not because they're just epistemically smarter than everybody. It's because right. they have this ability to adjust the way they're speaking and right. dealing with the individual uniqueness of the person in front of them. Uh, and so this layer here that is that translation layer serves that role of customer. That's exactly it. Exactly. It. Like that guy that can't teach. Probably somebody high in his field who can speak his language, they can communicate, but he can't modulate. You know, he can't modulate. And I think that's what these personal AIs are going to do. They're going to be able to modulate and 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 either, you know, know our lexicon and be able to feed us the information exactly how. And you're saying we control that. We have, yeah, we control it. Yeah, it has to be. That's the only way I think this this system works for everybody. Is that, and and I've kind of designed this already with the team, but uh, you know, this this data is going to shoot out, and it has to, you know, pass through our translation layer of our super. So so yeah, so there you go. Um, but yeah, and then it gets really really, you know, now you know these AIs these. I, for me, they feel like they start to like they they are the the oracle of knowledge about themselves. Um, not about all things. About not about all that things. No, I think that's where we get in trouble. Is when we make it about all things. It's like, whoa! How do we even debug that? <laughs> but if it's a if it's a a plant like a sunflower, I can debug that. I can know if you're you know I can say no bullshit up thumbs up down and help. Yeah train you back and forth and I can give you, I know where to put that data and, 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 and everything we, you know, and I think that also leads to a better decentralized system. Yeah. So, you know, and we, so it's going to, we're going to get into this really amazing world where, you know, I, I, this was something my daughter actually drew and I redrew it. Um, we're going to go into this amazing world where, you know, you can identify like she's wearing these augmented reality glasses. You can look at an ant and then have this amazing teaching experience from right. the ants AI. Now it'll be running around all crazy and it can, you know, narrate what it's thinking about, what, what the probabilities are, what it's thinking about, but it can, it, it can give you any question you would ask. And that just becomes this thing that I think, you know, this, this decentralized classroom, you know, it becomes this decentralized classroom at that point. Yeah. So, where the whole, where the whole world becomes a teacher. That's the planetary tutoring system in my mind. Yeah. Interesting. So one thing that occurs to me is that there's also relationships in nature. So we've got objects. Right. Uh, but we also have relationships between objects. So as much as you want to focus on the tree, you also want to be able to zoom out and look at 
Yeah, exactly. I, I yeah, I I thought a lot about that because all these with these these uh, the systems are all you know hyper objects. They're all these you know collections of of things, and we really don't fundamentally understand those second and third order relationships and effects. And so I think the more we um, allow these these domain specific AIs to learn about themselves, they're going to start to learn about their connections with objects. So you can see all these connecting lines I've put in here between them. But but yeah, yeah. keep you dig, dig into more so, of that. Because that what becomes interesting here is that there's going to be things. So we located the teacherly authority as mediated through the superintelligence of the object that's like aggregating all of the sophisticated human knowledge about it, which itself is aggregated by sensors and other things. Right. You get to this level and probably already at the prior level, you start to get things that the totalized input of the sensor network can reveal to the AI, which could never be seen by any human. Right. So you start to get a class of knowledge that could be put through to me about things and their relationships, which can't actually be held by a human. Right. So, so we, we were only able to displace teacherly authorities for so long right. <laughs> into other humans. And now we're back to where everyone thinks the AI tutoring system is from the start, which I don't think needs to be, which is that I would actually, that's the thing with teacherly authority. We have to learn from the AI itself, right. not the AI aggregating for me what the humans think, but the right. AI telling me things. It's going to make those connections we can't see. I, I, I've listened to Daniel speak a couple of times, and I mean, he, he's talked about... Um, you know, the, uh, is the, uh, the the rainforest and the runoff fr from it going to the rivers and 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 that then clogging clogging up the 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 the, the, the you know the, well, I don't know what the correct term for it is, but the ah I'm forgetting deltas. it. It's the, what is it? The deltas, the river. Deltas. Yeah, the deltas and like all these second, third order effects, and and it's like that's the thing that I would hope stuff like this would reveal that when it's like, oh, we did this to these plants and oh man, all the neighboring things happened over here to this land. Okay, you know, hopefully these guys will be able to infer why everything around it is, what will, you know, and find those second and third order effects, what those right. relationships are. Right. Um, and 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 there's the more I've got into this, there's so many relationships in nature that I find fascinating. Like every plant has a certain insect that pairs with it that will lay its eggs inside of it and everything. And it's like just all these relationships between nature, I'd hope to be able yeah. to find with these things. So, but, but, mm -hmm. but you jumped over the, the big oh, please. Yes. historical thing, which is that we're going to have to inevitably learn from AIs. We're going to inevitably have to put AI in a position. I, I decided that 10 years ago. <laughs> but, but this is a super non-trivial thing because it's like- I know. I know, and and a lot of people are like, but what about the jobs, and what about this? And it's like, I don't know. I think I got some other ideas, but it's 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 so going to be so hard for people to switch their minds over to. But but this is deeper than structural unemployment. This is right. change. There's... It's changing the nature of intergenerational transmission. I've talked about this before. From one where we learn from other humans, then to to one where we're learning from. So, all right, I'll, I'll 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 show an, an an interesting image which will will be able to uh, summarize my feelings <laughs> on on this. Uh, where are we at here? Here we are. Here's here's one, and uh, where's the other one? There it is. So we're we're kind of in this in this uh, disillusionment that um we're in this we're standing in the middle of this infinity <laughs> and we're thinking we know everything you know we we are literally you know all the way down i mean i just watched that talk uh what is her name um oh i forget that the the, the the lady's name but she sent me a link on the xenobots and uh, all, all uh, you know, all, all all the stuff we're learning about with with the nature of collective intelligence, right? At a, at a, at, at cellular le levels, we don't know any of these things, and mm -hmm. we keep drop you know drilling down into infinity this way and infinity that way. We're stuck in this infinity layer. We cannot hold this complexity in our heads. We just can't, and so that's why you know I drew this one. It's like the super for S, and then I make it into this infinity symbol. Because the only thing that could possibly hold 
and maybe be able to speak with some teacherly authority about the infinity we find ourselves in are these AIs. Right, but this raises the question is, can a machine have teacherly authority? I just think it's going to know more than us, man. It's like, and so it knows more than us. And now I think what we can do, just like a good student, we have to be able to cry bullshit on it. Like we, uh, the mechanism, if we're really talking about designing a planetary tutoring system, right? And it can, you can never, it can never obsolete. You it can, you by definition will never be able to know what it knows. It will always be in an unbridgeable epistemic asymmetry right. in perpetuity with the human species, unless it starts to engineer superhumans with brains. But even then, I think it would probably outstrip us. See, uh, so that's why it's like, keep a sunflower, man. <laughs> <laughs> See, when everybody starts talking about that Terminator stuff, or they send some like, I don't know, that sounds weird. Keep it sunflower. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I can you, hold in my head some very odd things, infinity. I'm saying, stuff, even if it's but... benign, even if it actually fully acts in our interest and we solve the kind of value loading, values alignment problem, mm -hmm. we're still in a situation where it's a, it's a completely new world. This is not the book. Oh. Or the television this is oh uh it's a it's a it's a speciation event this is my argument that it's a speciation speciation event a human being yes. becomes, that the human being becomes something else basically. most definitely and um the thing is is all this tech is like right there like this is where we 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 have almost all this tech uh invented to be able to do this stuff the most probable scenarios are bad ones we're still with that that's why i'm trying <laughs> to draw the good one man <laughs> but we also that's have to really... stop the bad ones what bad... we also have to stop the bad ones I, yeah bad. that's like agreed 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 so um oh you want to see something cool just uh just just for just real fast so oh, um so this that's image right here we're just talking to to so I really want to get this information out. So uh, I, I, I did. So Bitcoin has a new thing where you can inscribe. They're called ordinals. Inscribe um, um, the the images directly in the Bitcoin code. So it's not like a pointer or anything like that. It's actually in the blockchain. And so so I've been storing some of my stuff in there. So so yeah, you know, you got to get out the good stuff. The bad stuff, it can go so fucking bad it's scary i mean i i should show you the bad drawings i have i mean yeah, here's but... one of the bad drawings you want to talk i was listening to uh asa and Tristan harris talk today uh, about stuff they they had a new thing it's like dude like exactly. i call this the duper intelligence foundation you know danger advertising powered by super intelligence is bad for the human race it's like you call it duper that's great. duper instead of because it's duping you it's like using yeah. all this data to fucking sell you sugar water. Exactly. It's like if you put like, I don't know, a flag of a nation state there. Oh, you know? so that's, so this is why, you know, it's like, you know, you know, the, 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 so, so this stuff is so pure. It's like, you know, should a nation state really be in charge of these things? It's like, at this point, I just feel all that propaganda, all that stuff goes out the window. Um, I really, yeah, really feel like I think like so, like yeah. uh, I'll just land it, it here. It's like when you're really dealing with trying to give the earth the most accurate voice it can possibly have. So it has the, the teacher, the planetary teacherly authority. What is this nation state doing? It's like they. they. Well, but now you just created a completely revolutionary world transforming political technology. Right. So this is what I'm trying to say. This is like I had a, I had a weird last year, man. Yeah. <laughs> so like if you so like the Coke can people. is a great example. Like the Coke can is a great example. So you could have the Coke can, and when you look at a consumer object, it like loads an advertisement lens or something. But wow. if you don't do that and you look at a Coke can, it should absolutely tell you not to fucking drink that. You know what I mean? Uh, and I, so you yeah. just destroyed an entire commodity. I know. And me, but and made possible a commodity field that is actually representative of value with transparent back-end supply chain visibility. Uh, so you've changed the economy fundamentally. Yeah, yeah. this you is... Put on these things and you look at an American flag waving on a, 
on a poll you know what do you what do you see yeah. you know I, I i hear what you're saying but uh I, and yes it's very it's gonna change stuff and but yeah. it's like you know i think that change you can see it ramping up and i think this is on that 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 bit of the curve it's like do we you know one these gpts are already showing us infinite intelligence it can write better than us it can do all these things it can, it, it, it's it's going to supplant all these jobs we're going to have all these things well shouldn't truth and honesty start to work its way back into society that's, and, and that's doesn't the what that's the topic that i would bring maybe in a couple of weeks I would say, say it one more time this is the topic that i would bring maybe in a couple of weeks okay said. cool for bring bring that one but yeah here so here here's this one it's like supers teach us what our bodies need to be healthy it's like yeah i want to look at the food and for it to tell me that yeah this is good for you buddy based on everything i know about you this is gonna you're gonna get so much energy and feel good about this so yeah that's 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 definitely it okay so let's keep going let's talk about aces stuff because i have this in here where where we're gonna have these um you know this is just a pro this is a probability this is a probability of of, of and, and it's information from collective intelligence but listening to what he's working on oh my goodness you know, these things, I think, start out, they start out as just what we know about it. Hey, we've collected this. But over the next 5, 10, 15 years, as we get more and more of these domain-specific AIs, and we are able to kind of decentralize and collectively crunch these things, you know, he's he, he's made amazing fucking, uh, 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 you know, uh, leaps and bounds where they can actually say hi to a whale. It's like, holy shit. Like that's 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 like you know embedded into the new Avatar movie. I mean, it's just nuts. And when you start thinking about that, uh, that that's going to be possible with every species to a certain you know to a certain level. I know he brings up like you know the ethics of first contact, but man, would I want to listen to their conversations? I think that's cool. It's like oh man, now we're getting into a, a world where not only do these things. Um, have co our collective knowledge about them, but we can translate their signals into something we can understand. Like like plants can tell you when they want water. It's like, dude, that's amazing, you know. And so, so yeah. Um, what's your thoughts on that stuff, then? Because that system is going to play into this one. Again, we are we're reviving through the digital forms that are associated with the indigenous and the monotheism. Right. So like it's how many, it was. What how it was, and many people say how it still is, and how weird that we want to use digital to intermediate it. So it's a complex question there. Like the ethics of first contact with an animal species is interesting, right? Because we already have a whole bunch of contact with them. Right, 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 right. Uh but also the sense of wilderness remaining wild is interesting as well um uh the and this goes back to the immeasurable and the unmeasured uh and the that form of teaching that comes from contact with the unknown precisely um and so yeah there's part of me that thinks this is completely fascinating and part of me wor like worries about it um like that instead of going out into the woods and actually trying to feel the tree without any technological aid um getting more insight into the tree than any human has ever had like instantaneously like it, it is, it's so wonderful. that's so let's wonderful. let's let's so I actually have an image for that here we go <laughs> Super right. transmit the sacred signals of nature so we can learn from what that reality truly is. We find ourselves in a sea of sentient aware life forms. Right, so I think so, we've kind of, so just to, I want to keep going down this line to comment what you said. It's, yeah. it is scary, but when you look at, you know, we're, we used to be this species that I think could really uh, steward the earth. We were small, you know, we could kind of take it in and we could be in harmony with it. But boom, 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 we keep growing and we keep growing and we keep growing. And so many people, like, I mean, my wife, uh, she was a social worker and she would uh, deal with kids living in the city that were 10 miles away from the beach, but had never been to the beach. 
right. you know, and, and their connection with nature, their connection with reality. Uh, and I think, you know, now as a species, it's even so has been broken. I think we've lost those indigenous ways and we've augmented ourselves in technology. It's almost like we need to, we've gone into this thing and with this yeah. technology that Ace is talking about and that I'm talking about and, and everything, I hope it's that way through it. It's that way, you know, through it yeah. to really kind of give everybody that consciousness enlightenment about like, whoa, 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 we're sitting in infinity here and there's awareness everywhere and it's beautiful, yeah. you know, and, 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 and mm -hmm. so so this that's beautiful and now and it maybe it occurred to me that you can solve the a little bit you can solve that problem of never having the ai relinquish its position of epistemic authority by having it tell you to eventually take the things off right the question of to what extent it scaffolds your unmediated relation to nature right the, is very important that it would prompt you to take to take them off you know? I, I i i cannot agree with you more uh here i'll show, oh shoot uh, i'll show you that uh, actually is it gonna work can you still see this if i if i full screen it or no yeah you can see it you can see it's this is an amazing video they took um uh um uh, a project projector and put it into the forest and they lined up the projector with nature and and you know, look at something like that. They're just highlighting nature, right? They're just glowing on it. And that's what I think these glasses, you know, figuratively, I know John Vervecki talks about like taking the glasses off and looking at them, but like this is actually the augmented reality glasses. I think we want a system like this to be as non-intrusive as possible. Like we don't want eyeballs and everything on this thing. We really want it to like Correct. be, just highlight the signals that are going on there so that when you do take it off, you've been trained enough to still see them. Exactly. Yeah. That is very key. That yeah. doesn't become a crutch. And this right. is what the teacher knows. The teacher knows that eventually I'm going to step back, kid, and you're going to have to take care of the world. <laughs> right. Well, because I'm going to die, so I'm going to step back. So that's the difference between a propagandist and, uh, you know, like in others, they, they don't want to be in a position to ever, they want you to need them still. Right. Right. Whereas the teacher wants you to be able to do it yourself. So if your glasses break, <laughs> or whatever or the grid goes down the electricity goes out like you better be able to do well. right take those off yeah the propaganda thing i keep on thinking about my arguments for because definitely this last year i ran into stuff there and i'm hoping that like this tribe doesn't like this tribe's propaganda this nation doesn't like this nation's propaganda uh, you know this narrative doesn't fit with this or you know uh, who, who knows this illuminati layer doesn't like this bottom layer of people i don't know i don't know what it is but my 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 dissertation or point is like fuck all you guys there's no <laughs> there's there's no propaganda here it's just called it is what it is it's sunflower let's just let's just we, all this this way that we've been existing it just doesn't work anymore when you're dealing with consumer level uh ai that's going to go everywhere either we get through this in a way that is symmetrical with reality or we end up doing what we did the last you know uh 20 years with tech and just fucking us as a species so well no and that and that's why it's a catastrophic potentially catastrophic moment because if it this if something like this does go in the direction of being over propaganda it will be obvious right basically. like it will be overtly through the use of force and right. manipulation of other things and so uh that's important to get that propaganda is not about the content it's about the structure of the teacherly authority relationship um and so uh you know it is very important to as we talked about the qualified decentralization of knowledge production open source access where you can open right. the thing in and find the actual person who said that like all of those types of things become essential essential the trusting it especially with those those propaganda machines those narratives and all those people like it has to be in a way that everybody can go oh let's look at it okay all right it's it's looking good you know um, and then the main, you know manipulative communication manipulative bad faith 
communication it's characteristic of propaganda but it is also advertising i mean everything we learned in the propaganda campaigns in the two world wars were just put into the advertising industry right and then, uh, you know, oh they're the, the, the propaganda is baked into the memetics of, of everything so, exactly. so like it's it's going to be very hard to get people to be not skeptical of this honestly <laughs> You know what I mean? Because like when I see a sunflower, I think great, but then I think of like big agriculture. Right, 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 right. right. So I so what I do think is going to happen. What I do think is going to happen is we're going to go through a phase where there's going to be um, the open source uh, or public open source uh, AI of that flower, and then some private. Some right. private. It's a little bit hard with the flower, uh, you know, because that's nature itself. But let's talk about like some fertilizer. Don't take wheat. Wheat, what? Wheat, wheat is just a grass or corn is just a grass. You know right. what I mean? Like it's precisely right. in the center of one of the most. You know, landing my plan on this, what I do. So actually, it's let's go back to the Coke. So here's what I think is going to happen uh, with that Coke. Uh, where are you at, Coke? Coke? You know, are you? There you are, Coke. Uh, what I do think is going to happen is you're going to have. Um, uh, a private corporate AI of the Coca-Cola corporation. Hey, we're already seeing augmented reality on objects. And you're going to be like, hey, you know, do you have any rewards for me? Any coupons for Mr. Coke? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. here's your stuff, all that. Right. We're going to engage with that way. But the, the real transformative movement comes when you have the open source public AI of that Coke. Right, and that one's going to have like, oh, di- drank twenty cokes a day, died of diabetes. You know, it's it's like you're going to have all this public data start to be able to associate those objects, and people are going to go, oh man, that fucking you know doesn't work. And so what I'm hoping, what I'm hoping, uh, what'll happen is you'll have these two warring kind of AIs: the public Coke yeah. AI and the private Coke AI. Uh, and pretty soon, I think those corporations are going to have to understand that the consciousness level, intelligence level of people are kind of coming up and they start to emerge and start to everybody tries to get a little bit, a lot more ethical, and understand what they're doing and, and uh, an awareness happens. I, I, that, that's how I could see it kind of operationally playing out. Well, you're breaking the, com- you're breaking the commodity form is one argument. Like if you're a, a Marxist, commodity form is predicated on the non-transparency of the commodity chain and the substitution of price, which is like exchange value over the use value, the actual value. If you had total transparency of all consumer everything, <laughs> right, totally disintermediated without the company running interference on your understanding, then the thing would be what it actually is. It wouldn't be what they want you to think it is to get the right. exchange, which is not what it's worth, right? So you've just destroyed the base of the consumer economy, which is a good thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's a good thing for them. I'm sure there's some Coke executive looking at this like, what the fuck are they talking about? Wait, well, now they're saying, okay, what we need to do is make RAI, RAI really fancy so that it can actually create fake oh. from the public stream, right? So there's going to be a very serious need for verifying. I, I, that, that's, that is why I am all on like my 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 days have thought about like okay how what are the agreements between nations and people and things that we need to have like that that doesn't happen i mean when we start to get to that level of what's like what are you guys doing come on this happens already like on amazon because we oh, have a little bit of this with reviews right like you go Great you read reviews. a review of a place but if the place is smart enough then they're paying people to write reviews as if they're customers right, right. uh and it doesn't take a lot of money to do that in the economy that's whack i think i have a way to summarize it taking it back to what we we're talking about do we want Coke to be the planetary teacherly authority of Coke? Or do we want Coke and all the scientists and people who drink it and everybody that is in that ecosystem of ecology to yeah. add in that data set to become the planetary teacherly authority in Coke? I think it's that last one. That's the one that's holistic. That's the one that lets us all know, okay, this is this is the most comprehensive version of Coke. You've got to have the people experiencing it. You got to have the people creating it. You get that. That becomes a true, you know, thing. And I and I hope eliminates this need for like people to try to like find their way out of this and like oh we've got to 
pump in fake reviews into the thing. It's like, what are you guys doing? You're shitting the world bed for understanding where we're at, you know? So. Yeah. Oof. So, so you're shitting the world bed for understanding. <laughs> yeah, you're shitting the world bed. When you really start <laughs> messing with those data sets like that, it's 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 crap. So anyway, let's see. Um, <clears throat> we got about 10 more minutes. Oh, where should we get to? I got so much stuff in here. I got I like, like you know, uh, so it's, it's going to be so great. We can talk to, you know, animals, uh, and this is all ACEs stuff, where we can just listen in to see what they're curious about. Um, you know, and, and you know, I think, you know, the world really kind of teaching us, like, the plant loves water, the water, the, 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 the water loves to be with the plants, like, understanding those relationships, like, this is a fundamental relationship and 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 love you know for a planetary tutoring system or teacherly authority love is one of the things we really want to teach now how do we define love and i know you've talked about love i've listened to you talk about love as a as an actual thing but i'd love to get your input my definition for this is just what we need to feel health and alive and um and 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 what we put our attention into you know um, like the sun is saying loves the earth because it's putting attention to it. You know, uh, mothers looking at the daughter, you know, daughters thinking about the mother. It's like, there's a lot here, but I think these things, that's one of the fundamental messages that they should be able to communicate is, is, is what keeps these systems alive and what do they need to feel wholeness? Yeah. And this is the point that I'll bring in at some point to value, value and, right. you know, the work I do in basic philosophy <clears throat> with Gaffney and just what's the root of value ontologically, which is to say, does love exist in the universe or is love a human construction? Right. Uh, I now, say it does. It does. It absolutely does. Right. <laughs> and, but this is one of the basic confusions is that if we loaded right now, the AI with the accepted Western uh, scientific ontology of how the world works, we would go to hell in a handbasket. The, the basic proposition uh, for most of human history was that value was part of the cosmic field, right? That the human being participated in a field of value. It didn't create values, whatever it wanted. So like the idea that the plant loves to be watered and that the plant loves the sun sounds anthropomorphizing, right? It definitely but, is. But it's not. Right. <laughs> It doesn't love it the way we understand love. That would be ridiculous. Different thing. definition. Different definition. But the idea of if you break something like love or arrows down to a first first principle, like an equation, you end up getting allurement, movement towards, right? Structuring oneself to receive and to give, right? Oh, the deep of connection and intimacy. Right. Uh, that whole web of where you go from one super to multiple supers and see how the whole thing works. That's an, an like an entanglement of intimacy and interconnection and allurement uh, and repulsion and breaking and destruction, which right. then gets recombined into other things, right? So that notion of a cosmic eros uh, and a cosmic field of value, but none of that's loaded right now as acceptable in the leading edge of worldviews, let's say in the Western scientific materialism, right? So the yeah. question would be- when you start I, I just think, I, I, I fundamentally think that just people don't have the imaginations to put all the pieces together. I mean, when I drew this picture, it was, you know, understanding when that water is poured there, those roots, it takes it in and the the, the plant flourishes and you can see the, the the things happen. Like scientifically, you can see it. And on this one, you know, this daughter is loving, hugging the mother and the, the and, and, and the daughter or the mom's love. When that hug actually happens, right? When that hug happens, it's like pouring on, on the uh, pouring water on the plant. You can see those endorphins rush in and, and, and spread health throughout yeah. the child. It's yeah, like it, it, it passes all the way down to these collective cellular intelligences it's like you know what else are you going to call it yeah no that's right you know? and but yeah it is a failure of imagination and it's been a truncation of imagination intentionally right. as a result of the civilizational decline we've been going through but it's not 
hard, and this is the work that we do on first principles and first values of cosmic evolution, to, to re-articulate the science, to reimagine it, to see it as what it obviously is. Right. <laughs> uh, which is that- and They communicate that, that and teach it, you know, yeah. It profoundly places the human at home in the universe. So instead of believing that all the things we value most in life are social constructions, that the universe actually doesn't value anything, <laughs> is the default material. That, that, that's that nihilism or whatever. It's, that's total right. bullshit. It's like, what are you guys talking about, man? I can look at everything and <laughs> see there's a purpose to everything. It's like, what are you guys talking about? That seed... Like, like that whole, the universe doesn't, what are you talking about? That seed, its purpose is to grow. It's like, that's its purpose. And you can start to extrapolate past that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah failure Perfect. of imagination. I love that. So, so yeah, a, a, you know, a, getting, getting a little, little deeper into it, I think we'll, you know, be able to store our perceptions about plants, nails, like what we feel about them, how they make us feel and they'll learn those things. And I think that's something uncensorable and should be, uh, completely valid like this is where the collective intelligence comes when i eat this it makes me feel this way when i smell this plant it makes me feel this when i look at you it makes me think of this right. those are all things that i think gives these collective intelligences an understanding about themselves um and uh I'm, i just want to speak to that i just want to speak to that and see what that sounds like like i want to know what people feel when they're in that forest and for the forest to tell me you know, that's, that's, that's such an interesting thing. When people experience me, this is how uh, they, 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 they usually feel. It's like, and, and I think that's valid data to collect. And, and, and it's, it's, it's like a vibes teacher in a way, you know? Um, so yeah, it's very interesting. yeah, there's, there's some deep stuff here, man. <laughs> You're, you write, I draw. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, so, so we'll, we'll land our plane here. Let's see which one we'll land on. Uh, maybe we can cover these another time, but they teach yeah. peace. Oh, so here is, we can land on this one. Uh, actually, I'll do two more. I'll do two more, but uh, we'll, 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 we'll land on this one. Um, this is how it gets better and better and better and better and better, and why propaganda can't live in it. This is exactly it. There's no propaganda machine that... Um, can mitigate something like this at scale unless they're going to use ai to completely squanch it but it's like i think fundamentally all these things like this orange should be curious about like hey how do i taste right do i taste good and that training data goes back into the set about the orange like these people in the world love my taste these don't i think this is um why we give it planetary teacherly authority is because it's collecting data that we've never even like aggregated yet right. yeah like and this is how a good teacher works right and you mentioned it when we were when we were first starting out that the teacher also learns from the student right? exactly so yes. in this situation uh that consistent questioning that the world is asking you a question as much as you're asking to get questions uh that will continually improve the system. And it, and it is interesting because it does make it impossible for certain forms of propaganda to flourish unless they were to get in and mess with that apparatus. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. I mean, there's just so much, much beauty in that. And it's, and, and this is why I also think we can't, the AI won't ever, these Orwellian things about it. it's going to take us over. No, no, no. We're a valued node in this universe of, 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 of give, providing our novel experience and data you know and that's just you know that's that's it it's like we are a sensor we're the ultimate sensor here so ending on i have so much other stuff i, I govern and stuff talking to stars i got all sort of talking to lakes and shit i got so much stuff <laughs> but we'll end on this yeah i just think uh at 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 scale with a planetary teacher like this, when you can talk to the plants, you can talk to the animals. I don't, I think it eliminates all those narratives. I think it, uh, it has to eliminate all that propaganda. I mean, all this stuff I'm seeing with China and all this stuff and, and Russia, it's like Ukraine, it's like whether or not it's true or whatever, I don't even go into it. But I look at it and go, man, 
it's just a failure of imagination education and 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 if we can get the education everywhere in everything and it's this holistic it's like my my hope is that the planetary tutoring system with teacherly authority equals peace on earth right you know, that that's my hope but how not to like let that go fuck that's why we should keep having these <laughs> conversations like what are the don'ts with it well you know? it's also the why that is one of the few probable slash possible scenarios out of this mess right so like if you look at ai risk literature they're worried about the emergence of an ai what they call an ai singleton right which is a right. single AI that runs the whole world but they're also interested in that idea because it's one of the few things that resolves unresolvable multipolar traps right right like nuclear right. war and market competition and a whole bunch of other stuff that drives a downward spiral a single unifying ai intelligence system would negate all of that crap right so but the question is how to do that without it being the most horrible thing that's ever been created. i can tell you <laughs> so then you start to, you. to get all of these completely radical different ways of thinking about so the so i uh, i met with somebody this it was last week and he brought up the singleton uh idea and he wanted to understand my perspective on how this singleton works because and, and how i think it works and how you avoid you get all the good, but you avoid the bad. Because that singleton, if it's some giantly trained thing that you give all this power to where it can make decisions and all this stuff, and, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, and it's so infinitely smart. Can it get its way out of the box? It's like, may probably. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're really, this is bad. Um, how I think about it is this way. Is, is starting with this. Where are you at? Where did it go? Where'd my, uh, where, where did my, oh, there it is. Starting with this domain specific domain bound. That's the new word I've been using. Domain bound intelligences of like only the sunflowers, all the sunflowers on earth, only the cherry trees, only this type of house, you know, this person, all these things. Um, can you get an aggregate of that and talk to that aggregate? But I think what happens is then they can then be pulled uh, into an aggregate of whatever they're saying into one voice, but that voice has no actual like intelligence. It's just a summarizing engine. It's just a summarizer. The singleton becomes something that just takes all these individual AIs and, and summarizes their output and tries to give you the best summary of what they all said. But having anything collected, anything that singleton, having any real power or whatever no 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 but can it talk to all those things and get a summary yes and that's gaia it's 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 uh planetary consciousness whatever you want to call it but giving that thing any real power no that's not how nature works um well there's there's two things there one is decouple the singleton from power and yes. make it just a teacher just a teacher so you remember when i talked about teacherly authority about illegitimate teacherly authority being a function of course of power basically like you have to learn from me or else i'll kill you <laughs> right so if you take away that and uh that's one thing but you're also describing another thing which is the decentralization the absence of what we call like a region nexus which means that it's not a centralized decision making thing it is a re-articulating from a decentralized committee thing um so the ai singleton as typically imagined would make collective choices on behalf yeah. of higher and i i just see that as like Whereas what we're seeing here is actually the radical Recapacitation of the humans to build a biological collective intelligence. So it, it precisely isn't trying to take over all those functions. It's trying to teach us how to do it in a way that's actually beneficial for everything. It teaches the stewardship. I mean, it's stewardship so that, in the most classical way. It needs some good. We need to solve the value the value loading problem. And uh, <laughs> I, I I I agree. I agree. I agree. I had an image I wanted to show you. Oh man, if I could find it, it's such a beautiful thing to. Oh, here it is. No, but that's not it. Damn it. Hold on. This will be the last image. Oh, where are you? AI Earth. Oh, such a good one, too. It's, uh... 
Am I not going to find it? Oh, there it is. Here you go. It's like, I would love my kids to be able to sit on a hilltop and and talk to the embodiment of the earth. This, the, the, this, this, the, well, let's call it, not call it the singleton, but the simpleton. <laughs> the simple version of the earth that can kind of be like, yeah, you guys are doing better now, you know? Um, most definitely, most definitely. But uh, it, definitely something at that scale. It's like it, we're making a godhead at that point. That's what I'm saying. Like it's, yeah. both, it's both a resuscitation of the indigenous and the monotheistic. Um, uh, and so that's, I think, important to hold. And that's where the only prior occurrences of this kind of teacherly authority are in sacred texts uh, so. this is definitely a, you know i've started using that 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 uh that word it is definitely could you know when you start talking about the stuff that ace is doing and then the stuff that uh that um i mean it, the it collective is, intelligence it's sacred it's about as sacred as you can get you know it, it's, it's both it is both manifesting the sacred and preserving it right um most definitely yeah. most definitely so, yeah, ideally dude. Yeah. dude zach okay we we've gone a while thank you so much for your mind thank you so much for uh who you are and all the hard work you've put into yourself to be able to come and talk today that was so much fun to sh you know we've talked a lot but haven't gotten into this stuff and uh i'm thank just you. excited to sh share this uh with everybody and to um uh, to keep talking man that was awesome yeah, that was fun all right, my friend. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye.